Steve the Mac Guy here and in this video I'm going to show you how to get your Mac ready to sell. The first thing you need to do is back up all of your data. You should be using Time Machine for this but that's for another video. If you don't use Time Machine and you want to do a manual backup of your files the quickest way is to use the Go menu and select Computer then go to Macintosh HD then Users. Your user folder will be the one with a house icon. Just copy the entire folder onto an external hard drive or wherever you choose to save your backup. Next, you need to deauthorize iTunes. You're allowed to have five Macs authorized. This step will save you some time and trouble later when you hit Mac number six. To deauthorize iTunes, open iTunes and from the store menu, select deauthorize this computer. Enter your password and click the deauthorize button. You should get confirmation that the computer has been deauthorized. Now you need to sign out of your iCloud account. Like iTunes, there's a limit to how many devices can be signed in. Signing out of iCloud now will save you time later by keeping you from hitting the limit. It'll also keep your old computer from showing up in the list if you use the Find My Mac or Find My iPhone feature. To sign out of iCloud, go to the Apple menu and select System Preferences. From there, click iCloud and then click the Sign Out button. You'll get several prompts asking you if you want to delete the files associated with your iCloud account from your Mac. Just select Delete from Mac for each prompt and then enter your password. Now it's time to erase your hard drive and reinstall Mac OS. If you're using a MacBook, make sure you have the power adapter plugged in. Also make sure you have an internet connection. To keep from accidentally erasing the drive that has your backup, it would also be a good idea to disconnect any external drives. When you're ready to erase your drive, restart your computer and hold down Command, Option, and the R key. Hold down the keys until you see a spinning globe with a message that says Starting Internet Recovery. This can take several minutes. Eventually you'll see a screen labeled OS X Utilities. Depending on the age of your computer, it may look a little different, but all of the same options should be available. To erase your hard drive, select Disk Utility, then select Macintosh HD. Click the Erase tab, make sure the format is Mac OS Extended Journaled, and then click the Erase button. After the drive has been erased, close Disk Utility, then select Reinstall OS X and click Continue. The version of OS X that will be installed will depend on which version your computer is shipped with. Click the Continue button and then agree to the software license terms. Then select your hard drive and click Install. The installation will probably take about 30 minutes, but it depends on the speed of your internet connection. Once the installation is complete, the computer will restart. If you're selling the computer online and shipping it, you should just shut the computer down at this point. You can shut it down by holding the power button until it turns off. When your buyer starts the computer, they'll see the setup assistant just like you would on a brand new Mac. If you're selling to someone local and you want to be able to show them that it works, you can complete the setup assistant and configure it with a test account. I usually do this and then help them add a new admin account when they buy it and I delete the test account. Now your computer should be ready to sell. If you found this video helpful, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Mac and iOS tips.